Your first alert forecast with meteorologist Kyle Keel. Well, if you've stepped outside this afternoon, it feels a little bit like summer, especially as you head uh, down toward the Quad Cities and points to the south, where we have temperatures in the lower 80s. We've had the clouds and rain sticking around a little longer here to the north, so it's a little cooler. 75 in Rock Falls and Clinton, 72 degrees in Galena, but it really, it's not the heat obviously not too hot, but it's the humidity today. We've got those dew points in the 60s near 70 degrees. There's that 70 degree dew point in Kiwani, Keokuk, and of course in Muscatine, where we'll be having live broadcasts at five and six, a little bit muggy for our friends out there. 66 is the dew point in Moline, and these dew points are going to be similar to what we have tomorrow. And that's just kind of one key ingredient that we need for that severe weather development. Don't quite have those here today, so no need to worry about severe weather into the overnight. Uh, looks like uh, maybe around Prophetstown here in in southern portions of Whiteside County might be having a uh, little shower pop up, but uh, most of the steadier rain is tracking off to our north and east. But we do have a little band of showers here uh, into portions of Lee County and heading into uh, portions of west central Illinois. So uh, right around La Harp, Fort Madison, up toward Lomax, Burlington, could see just a few light showers roll through over the next couple of hours. But really the big story is going to be that severe weather potential tomorrow. Uh, you see these polygons here. These are severe thunderstorm and tornado warnings here into portions of Nebraska. All of associated with this low pressure that you can clearly see on the visible satellite. Associated with that is a cold front to there to the west. Then we also have a warm front draped here off to the east. So this warm front is going to continue to track northward and it's going to bring an extra spin in the air tomorrow and that's going to provide us that threat for severe weather. This evening the severe weather threat stays off to our west where central and western Iowa have a level two to level three risk. That risk shifts to the east and for right now we have a level two slight risk. Doesn't really matter if it's a one or a two. All of us have that potential of severe weather, I think from the Quad Cities points to the south. That's going to be the best chance. Damaging wind, tornadoes, and large hail all going to be a possibility. So, of course, we do have that first alert day in effect for the entire TV6 viewing area. We'll start this at 3 o'clock tomorrow evening, and that'll last until about 6 a.m. on Sunday. Might expire that a little earlier than that. So, again, just a couple spotty showers expected around here tonight. Otherwise, we will have a partly cloudy to mostly cloudy sky. We're dry here tomorrow morning. Might be some decaying showers here off to the west. We'll have to watch that closely. But if you're headed into your farmers markets or anything outside here tomorrow morning and even into the early afternoon, things looking pretty good. But watch as we head toward three o'clock. This is when our first alert day goes into effect. Uh, we will see some showers and thunderstorms fire. It's these storms initially that we have to watch for a little rotation. We're going to have that extra spin in the air. And also those storms could produce some pretty large hail, maybe up to the size of golf balls. Again, it's going to be near and south of the Quad Cities where we have that best chance for that severe weather. And I think that severe threat winds down here as we head toward the overnight hours and and then we'll continue to track that potential for some rain as we head into the uh, day on Sunday, which of course is Mother's Day. That's also going to be chillier weather. We're talking temperatures not getting out of the 60s, so not the best weather for all you moms out there, but hopefully you get to spend some time with your loved ones. We'll rebound to the 70s here on Monday with a mostly sunny sky back toward 80 on Tuesday, kind of up and down in temperatures next week with another chance of storms oh. as we head into Friday. So uh, download the QC weather app, stay with TV6 for updates throughout the weekend. Plenty of dry hours to get out there and enjoy mom. Good.